Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I built a rocket in my basement. I'm gonna fly it to the moon. This supersonic is amazing. You're gonna feel my sonic boom. I'm flying higher and I'm never coming down. Look at me now. Hello everybody, welcome back to another studio vlog. So today is kind of a busy day and I decided that we would just do like a vlog or something. Um, so we've kind of been recovering from that storm and like last week I think we spent a lot of time um, doing orders and then just getting caught up. So I didn't really have time to film and all of that but we finally caught up and we're in a pretty good spot so now we're batching order or batching candles yesterday we did the inventory so that's taken care of and then today we've got a batch candles and i was planning on doing like a day in the life tiktok we just passed like 10k on tiktok which is really cool too and also <laughs> i had my first tiktok scandal last week i had to <laughs> sierra's laughing i had to actually private a video because i was being attacked attacked you guys um so i did a video showing how i wrap my gift wrap orders like someone had ordered gift wrap so i was like hey let me just do a quick tiktok and y'all the wrong side of tiktok caught this video because <clears throat> it was crazy but anyways i admit the gift wrap was kind of like it could look better in the video um but like people were like really coming for me because the gift wrap is four dollars which i've never had any problem with my gift wrap being four dollars to like gift wrap something <laughs> um so people did not like that i was charging four dollars even though like amazon charges 4.99 a lot of people said it should have been free or whatever so i don't know anyways it was crazy i ended up privating the video so but anyways stuff like that happens you just gotta i don't know take criticism I'll get some better gift wrap in the future so that happened and then also last week we were featured in Business Insider so Business Insider did a story um, I had been going back and forth with the writer of the story for about a couple of weeks and then she finally published it last week and it was so crazy because like um, 30 minutes after it was published someone emailed me um, and they said they saw it on Apple News. They really liked my candles. So I thought that was cool. But anyways, we have another interview today with um, a blog at 2 p.m. So I have to do that. So TikTok, interview, batching candles. And I had something else I had to do, some computer admin work. So a lot of stuff. And I don't know, let's get started. <laughs> All right, so I, uh, we just got done pouring some candles and while we're waiting for everything, I'm just doing some admin work, paying my bill for the studio. But speaking of paying bills, let's go into our sponsor today, which is Skillshare. That'd be lame. <laughs> so I'm sure you have heard about Skillshare on my channel before, but it is an online learning community that has thousands of classes that cover a range of different topics. So as I was scrolling through the business finance section, I saw a lot of classes that I would be interested in personally, especially this one from Bench Accounting. I actually do business with them, so I will be looking into that one. Skillshare is also curated specifically for learning, so there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes, so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it is less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. So if you are like me and you are trying to enhance your personal and business finances this year, you can go ahead and click down below into the description to get your free premium membership of Skillshare. Thanks Skillshare for sponsoring this video and let's get back to it. Okay, so I just poured some moonlight candles, waiting on those to cool, and then I'll do the topping. But while that's all cooling, I'm going to work on something for the Academy, which I'm really, really excited for this one because I talked to my students this past Saturday. We did a live call, and for the past few weeks, I've been having this idea about creating some type of marketplace or a way that people can kind of buy and sell their candle supplies, right? 
Um, so like, you know, usually when you're testing your, your candles, you end up with wax that you ended up not liking, or maybe you tested soy, you bought 10 pounds, you didn't like it, or you tested, I don't know, soy blend, whatever. Um, and then also wicks, you end up with a lot of different wicks. And it's so funny because the day that I was going to announce this to my students that morning, one of the students emailed me and she was like, I have a whole bunch of candle supplies. <laughs> Do you know anybody who wants to buy them? So it really validated my idea. But anyways, I've been going back and forth. I'm trying different like platforms, different ways to kind of make a marketplace. So it'd be just like kind of a eBay or Etsy where you make your own profile you can be in charge of selling your stuff doing your pricing so when you log in there you'll have your own storefront minimal fees um, so it'd be like really beneficial anyway so I've been going back and forth with different companies and I've decided on one developer that I'm gonna work with I'm still looking over everything just to make sure I want to work with this developer but in the meantime I'm going to do something in the Academy that will kind of just be a way that they can get started um, and they won't have to wait for this whole marketplace thing to be developed and launched um, so I'm going to be doing in our community, which I'm going to show you. I'm going to turn you around and kind of show you just my screen. So I will Okay, so hopefully you can see, and I know it's a computer screen, so it might look funny on camera. So we'll see if you can see. Anyways, I've created a marketplace, and I may put a screenshot, but a marketplace where they can buy and sell. So the course is split into this kind of community or like topics so once you click into the topic everything that's marked with this buy and sell will pop up so you can easily like just navigate so anyways I'm gonna film an instructional video video showing them how this is gonna work until I get the actual marketplace set up anyways I hope that makes sense and I'm really excited for this project um, it is going to be quite a bit of an investment, but I think it'll pay off and eventually if it all works out within this little test testing situation I'm doing, I may release it to everybody else. I don't know. We'll see. All of that's in the works, but let me get started filming this video for them. Okay, so I'm waiting for my interview to start. Um, I'm guessing the person is going to call me here in just a little bit, but while I was waiting, I went ahead and packaged up some new wax melts. Okay, so we have honey bergamot, and I love this scent. I actually used this scent for the soaps in the Valentine box, and I loved it so much I figured we need to do something else with this scent because it's so good. But this is um, from Nature's Garden, and it's actually the Honey Bunny fragrance from Nature's Garden. And I just named it Honey Bergamot. But so these will be in the shop soon once I get pictures taken. All right, everyone. So um, I'm kind of ending the work day early. It's three o'clock. I had my meeting at around two, so I was speaking with the um, the person doing the interview. And what else we did? I just did my TikTok. So I completed the whole day in the life TikTok. I remembered to film. So I just posted that. We got a lot of stuff done, you guys. Um, honey bergamot wax melts. Those are going to be going in the shop soon. And yeah, so it was a really productive day. So the last thing I wanted to end with was um, something that I wanted to tell you guys about and it has to do with personal but also with business so one thing we've been doing is trying to find mortgage a mortgage as self-employed people and it's been like really crazy um, just trying to like qualify and all of that stuff so I'm learning that even as self-employed they want you to be self-employed for at least at minimum two years so if you've been working for yourself for one year six months it really is they they want two years and it doesn't even matter if you were a w-2 employee for like 10 years before um it doesn't matter like that's void once you say that you're self-employed they want to see your business on that tax return for two years anything before that just doesn't even matter um 
what else am I learning? So, you know, usually when you're self-employed, you want to like do a lot of expenses. So you expense like everything. So when you get new computers, when you buy camera equipment, when you use your gas, you expense all of that. So you lower your net income at the end of the year so that you pay less in taxes. But if you are going to get a mortgage, if you have too low of a net income at the end of the, the year. It doesn't matter if you made $300,000. If you say your net income was $30,000, they're gonna tell you you didn't make enough money. So you have to plan ahead and plan how you're gonna do your taxes, right? So for me, luckily enough, we didn't file our taxes for 2020 um, when we started, you know, when we got pre-approved for the mortgage. We didn't file our taxes yet, so I, filed my taxes knowing that I just can't deduct as much stuff as I wanted to so I can make my net income look a little better on paper. Does, does that make sense? Hopefully. So I'm going to have to pay more in taxes this year so that we can hopefully qualify for this loan. So we found the house, we got the contract, we've done the inspection, um, and we've got pre-approved and we've got conditionally approved. So there's like different approval processes. Um, we've got pre-approved, so then we found the house, and then conditionally approved last week. That means we're approved for the house with some conditions. So they wanted some extra paperwork because we're self-employed, so they wanted our taxes more, you know, they wanted us to file our 2020 taxes, which I did. They wanted a profit and loss form, so we had to do that, um, have all of our profit and loss on paper, and to do that we used QuickBooks, so we're get, um, Navy Federal allowed us to use QuickBooks, and so that's who we're getting the mortgage with is Navy Federal Credit Union. Um, so we turned that in, and now we're just hearing back to see what the final approval is. I just messaged the loan officer today. He's hoping to hear back by the end of the day. Um, if I hear anything, I'll put like something on the screen or whatever. If not, we're probably still waiting. Um, but yeah, so that's where we're at now. And I just want to tell you guys this because if I get the house or not, I was going to tell you guys anyway, just because I'm finding this mortgage process very interesting and a huge learning curve. So hopefully um, if anyone goes self-employed and wants to still get a mortgage, you can have these, you know, this experience in the back of your mind because it's, you know, it's a lot of planning ahead of time before you even get pre-approved. So... I don't know you guys so I will keep you guys updated on this whole house process if we don't get the house I'm, I'm probably just gonna hold off on a little bit for a little bit all right so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here my son is about ready to get out of this office and thank you for sponsoring Skillshare appreciate it if you guys are wanting to try a free premium membership of Skillshare make sure to click the description down below or click the comment in the comment section where you can see the link to get your membership but anyways I will see you guys on the next one thanks for tuning in bye